All right. Was that an energy spray or a breath it spray? It is. It's um, my singing spray. <laughs> I don't get energy like out of it anymore, but it helps me sing. Uses? Yeah. Three, two, one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's Friday, and you have entered the gloom-free zone. <laughs> right? Is that what? Our new title. Our, our new, our new branding element. The gloom-free yeah. zone. Yeah. My name is Howard. Is <laughs> Mary on my left? Mary Quinns Goldman, co-host, and co-host the third is. Ryan Weissars, who also happens to be the president of WBIG TV, the network you are tuned into. It's good to be here tonight. It is, isn't it? Are right? we doom free as well as gloom free? Doom free? Well, no, just gloom. Yes. Not doom. Just gloom. <laughs> yeah. That, we might we be able to. Still have doom. Yeah, we haven't figured Probably doom. Not. We haven't figured out the doom one yet. <laughs> and we're bringing up. Slowly, the show's here. Barbara O'Neill is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Barbara. Nice to see you, Barbara. How do I get on Zoom? You follow the uh, you follow the link and and uh, to the ticket booth, which is um, right above you, zoompianobar.com. And uh, the uh, it tells you you know how to behave, how to dress. How um, everything, right, Ryan? We we just every week we control more and more of your of your life. Yeah, like the governor. As we slowly take over. <laughs> this is exciting. Barbara's here already. Okay. While you guys chat, I'm going to do my ritualistic um, sharing of the stream to uh, you know my own Facebook page and a couple a couple other. A group that we have. I'm going, to, I'm going to do that over here. While you guys, yes. while you guys chat it, it up, we need to chat. <laughs> so how's, how's your seltzer coming along, Mary? You the seltzer is great. That was a real bargain. Seltzer for anyone out there who does not know. As a matter of fact, I should go back to Price Right tomorrow. I don't know when they change their prices, but they have seltzer this week. For 25 cents. Did you get there, Ryan? 25 cents Not for a yet. liter. Vintage brand seltzer. I've never, have you ever heard of vintage brand? Yes, I actually, I know it from years back. Oh, they have a great mid century looking bottle. The label is yeah, cute. Yeah, they do. So I got orange for and. 25 cents. Did you get there, Ryan? 25 cents. It's confusing. <laughs> it is confusing. Welcome to my world. So anyway, and I think I bought something like eight bottles, so I spent a total of two bucks, and I think I've gone through two. So. No, we've gone through one. They don't. They do not have tonic water at Price Right. You got to get the tonic water at Tops, where they have diet tonic water. That's great. Oh, yeah, and it's really good. Tonic water? Not that I've seen at Price Right. Hmm. Though I'm a little discombobulated with the situation these days, so maybe I didn't notice it. But I did look, and but you can get also diet tonic water at right at, or at CVS. You can get it. I like yes. that that's in the drugstore because it has quinine. <laughs> yeah, I like getting that diet tonic water. That's great. Yeah, you don't even notice the difference. I do not, no. At um, Dash, you can get it with the diet tonic water with lime taste, too. The, I think one of them doesn't um, actually have quinine. Either the diet or the regular. I think it's the diet. Oh, I think it says it has quinine. Well, I was reading a hack thing on how to hack chloroquine. <laughs> how do you hack it? Can we make our own? You, you can. So what? Do we, but but you have to. But you have to insist it doesn't. That you can't, and that it doesn't work anyway. Oh, I see. Yes. There's I a little understand. social does it involve, etiquette involved. Does, does it involve tonic water with with quinine? Um, it can, but that, but there's a much better way. Oh, oh we're just gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> we come out with our own. Our own brand. For those who want it. So I noticed that when I watch myself later that I look like I'm crazy because my eyes keep moving. They keep darting up. Oh, Ryan, I always think you look great on this. Yeah, you look great. Um, I was just looking at myself and thinking I look crazy. <laughs> no, I have two monitors and one's off to the side. So whenever I try to do something, 
I'm always looking like this, and then it just oh. looks like I'm oh. itching or something. Like that's part of being at the control panel. <laughs> now I shared it to my thing, but I don't see it. Okay. Here we are. This is awesome. This technology is amazing. And it's so unlikely that it should work. Knock, knock on wood, because man, I don't know. Yes, an amazing feat. Justine Jopp and Barbara Fisher. Nice to see you, Barbara Fisher and Justine Jopp here at Lounge Academy. Mike Jones just sent his well wishes by liking the stream. Thank you, Mike Jones. Frank de Cesare, another big name. Barbara O'Neill joining us. Oh, that's what that noise was. I'm not used to all the new noises. This is exciting. It is Barbara O'Neill. She's in the Zoomer Lounge. She's entering anyway. We got look at the teleprompters are working too. I mean the closed captions. We just have so many toys and gimmicks here, it's amazing. <laughs> if I had half a drink, we could never pull this off. <laughs> Sir Dan H is with us. How wonderful. Oh, nice. Hi Dan. sensitive to pick up on it, Mary, because downtown it looks like it's abandoned, right? It does, yeah. yeah. And it's, and it's you park kind of wherever you want. Misty too. Yeah, you know, I know. That's true. It's yeah, like one of those the only club Twilight also. Zone episodes where the guy comes off of a plane or something or down from space is his job and, and like everything's frozen. <laughs> yeah. Right? And everyone's gone except one old guy. You ever see that one, Barbara? Just one Barbara, old guy in the whole town. Barbara looks like she's she's ready to do some I know, she's official in. lounging here. Looking that good with that cocktail. Yeah. We're actually we're actually having a great time. You have to play the quarantine song alone together. Alone together. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to get to that one. Oh, I thought you did that one. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for one, you didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I do it when I have the book in front of me. <laughs> Alone together. We're here at Lounge Academy. <laughs> Justine, she's selling cars, even though the place is closed. It's closed? People still have to buy I'll bet, yeah. Well, the, the repair shops are open, so that's oh. probably, I'm trying to figure oh, out. I never, I never thought for one minute Justine would be idle. No, no, I'm trying to figure out what her angle is with this, because she's the type of person that would thrive in chaos, right? We know that about yeah. Justine. <laughs> A lot of she's stuff. unstoppable. Yes, so yes, she thrives. She's probably using the loophole that the service department is, is essential. 
So oh, they're open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that yeah. means the whole place is not shut they down. They don't have to get cars and you can be socially distanced. So she probably tells people to come down and meet her at the service department. Oh, yeah. By the air pump. She probably has a very cool mask, too. Puts a mask on, takes him for a ride, and some, okay. some new ride. Before you know it, a transaction occurs. <laughs> Two parties <laughs> benefiting. I blew up my little mini screen so I can't see. Christine is with us with the talented and beautiful Dan. Very nice, Christine. Just know you're there. I hope, hope we get to see you. That's even better. I was afraid I was getting over aggressive with the technology. Let's see if we got uh, reload, reload page. Everything's making me reload. Little hiccup. <laughs> Here we go. up where we left off. Okay, I think hopefully we're back here. Yep, I see me moving now. It put us back in time a little way. Well, what about yeah, the, I did. What about the, I lost the, some time. That's me from five minutes ago. We lost the Zoomers. Ago. Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought it got quiet. It gets quiet in here when... There we go. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened. I know we are we are pushing the uh, technological limits here tonight. I added some extra things without going through the testing. I, do you think? Every time I pop in, there's a problem. When someone popped in. Every time I pop in, there's a problem. You know, now that you mention it, Barb. It's because of Barb. It's because of Barb. I never power. correlated that. I never connected the dots like that before. <laughs> I gotta, Do I'm you gonna, think um, I'm broadcasting the both of you at once is too much for it? Might be, it might be too much. Too it, much. Might, it might be. Did That's we, right. There's too much star uh, power. Did we, did no, we, yeah. Barbara and Ryan <laughs> both are together. Well, I have a a blank box here representing Mary at the moment. I, I must be on screen twice. Yeah, I, I yeah, gotta, I gotta put her right. back in. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's Howard. <laughs> so, Mary, are you having anything with your quinine or just quinine? I'm not drinking quinine. Sure, gin with it. <laughs> oh, with the quinine water. Yeah, the quinine water. I always have gin. Yeah, I love gin and tonics. Okay. Do you like gin and tonics? I just love them. I just saw another drink that has tonic in it, too. It's but I forget what it was. I've been researching cocktails. Barbara, Ryan, and I talk about cocktails. What, do you have a favorite cocktail you make at home? So I love the gin and tonic. I love gin martinis. Oh, so do I. Tonight I'm, tonight I'm having, I had... Well, be most of it, but in Manhattan's, and yeah, so. Yeah, I never used to be a home drinker either, but it quickly changed. <laughs> I only drink. I only drink at home. And when, and when I'm alone. Yeah, Howard really does only drink. When I'm angry. Yeah, so I try to make cocktails for Howard that if I, I sometimes ask Howard, what are you in the mood for? And it's usually something. Something exotic. Yeah, so I make Howard risky. things like Bahama Mamas. <laughs> I think we need to get a taste of wine and roast wine. That's a great, I think. 
think so oh, too. That's a pretty song. Wait, we haven't played that in a long time. It's such a great song. I think it's under Love. D. Love and Alone. They usually don't use the. We should do a bunch of the songs. Like the days of wine and roses. The days of road. Days of wine and viruses. song to start the night. You know, this is the days of wine and roses. They really are the days of wine. Everyone's drinking wine and the roses are going to start to come up. That's right, soon. Ready or not? You know, all the flowers are coming in on schedule. And the birds. I love that doorbell sound. I think that's the doorbell. How cool. It looked like Charlie Brown there or something. Yeah, that's a nice impressive background. 
She'd make a good ambassador to the aliens for the human race, don't you think? She would. They're the only ones that could understand her. Well, she's a broadcast professional. Gretchen Krakow. It's Cousin Gretchen. And she's watching. Which is different for a change, because usually everybody's watching Gretchen, right? <laughs> That's true, yeah. It's true of all the Phillipses. And our own Kathy Moses is out there somewhere in TV land with Nick. does his quality. Yes, He's a lot like Bill Zimmerman in that regard. <laughs> Stays lighter. It does. Later and later each week, it doesn't it, Mary? I like that, yeah, about this time of year. This is the time of the day I love the best, is the sun gets that romantic glow as it sets behind the U.S. Attorney's Office across the street, reflecting off those windows with the, with the lake as he gazes out the windows wondering Do I feel who he's going to nab next. <laughs> it's funny because it's been so cold, but we're getting close. We're about a month away from the longest day of the year. This is their favorite song over there, Mary. That's because Mary isn't really on Zoom. Oh, yeah, it's I an illusion. It. She's oh, you're picking her up through my mic. Oh, I see. Oh, I like yeah. to talk louder. She's as part of a scam I'm running. She is. Don't be a naughty 
honey baby come to papa come to papa do Cindy looks fantastic, doesn't yeah. she? She really, she's ready for a fancy place like this. All right. Everybody looks so great tonight. Place really puts you in the mood, doesn't it? I'm in the mood for a quarantine with you, baby. Places in the good old houses, you know. Look at the size of that sucker. Yeah. yeah, again, we get to peek into people's homes. It is. <laughs> Shout out to the legendary Eric Mater out there. How are you, sir? Nice to see you lounging tonight. You look great. something for Lent. I crave it and I eat it every day. See, she's just waiting for somebody to ask, you know, because she prepared this drink yeah. for a week. It took a week to mix this drink. Strawberries and Fritos. That sounds wonderful, Tito. Wow. Hey, why not? Why? Brian Bond, why? Why shouldn't I? Being four to a Daryl, how to know? Nice to see you, Daryl. Looking tan already. Why? Why 
I should have died. Take a chance when romance passes by. To see Barry's house too. Yeah, we love seeing Barry's house. That's another star of the show. We see a new, a different wall every week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can see the lake. Oh, the lake is. The, you see, he's in the lake house. He's in the lake house. This one? Hell no, I'm not. I'm not an ocean park. Oh, okay. The ocean park. I am the hill. Oh, I the, the folks hill. who live on the hill. Was easier though. Did it automatically take you guys right in this this week? No. Well, I in, in five seconds it should take you in. You know, on your I hope on a the formal thing that says zoompianobar.com, but if, if you click that, it doesn't nothing happens. So you have to like, type it in. Ah, oh. maybe we need like more www's on it or something. W 
W's are powerful. You put those in front of something and you just you're you're just so these W's sent w's somewhere. Yes. Welcome to but uh, on, on the on the <laughs> on the lounge cab. Piano Demic. Piano Demic did Bob come up yeah. with? Yeah. Piano Demic. <laughs> I like that, Bob. Piano Demic. You got it. What's that, Barry? You were describing your customer experience. On, on the fleet page. Well, <laughs> you can see the top of Barry's head on the piano bar. And if you click on it, nothing happens. Oh, maybe, maybe you were clicking on the video screen itself. Oh, but you can't click on those. Yeah. Somebody who loves piano demic. I wonder who. I wonder who. me. I wish I knew who she can be worries me. For every girl that passes me, I shout out, maybe you were meant to be my loving baby. because we're all at home. <laughs> yeah, we're not bored, though. They were coming out of the same thing. That's right. Very good point. Yeah, they were coming out of the pandemic of the Spanish flu. Oh, yeah. Before, we're all going to be going Swinging. That's right. They were just coming out of these tough times. Man, I hope I was... Don't take that one. Yeah, everybody buckle your seatbelts. Janice Shaw is buckling hers right now. Chris Michael is here, ladies and gentlemen. The whole gang is here tonight. Thank you. 
I'm in uh, it's like the North Pole or something. It's just staying away. I know. Right I was just thinking that. It hasn't been this light. So it really
Request Dan. Dan H. Who wrote that song? Who knows the good tunes? Leslie. Oh, Leslie no, Perkins. Right. Oh. Wow. I never heard her name, and you just like. It's a him. He. Yeah, Leslie. So I didn't even know his gender, and I'm not trying to assign a no, gender. No, he wrote a lot of those things like Stop the World. And who else? Okay, who or wrote the music? Who wrote that one. Yeah. Another person I never heard. Cyril. He wrote the songs for Ornadal. Ornadal. What? I do not know that name. Finally stumped her. Sixteen years. Steve Ryan, everybody's still social distancing in your tiki bar. Yeah, I know we're all social distancing. I want to fix it so in these those blocks that were in those squares. If I look down at Barry, can I go like look like I'm looking Barry? That's a good idea. And then if I want to look at Barbara, I I. Look to the left like this. Yeah, you guys are getting really scary pro at this. Well, I think of the Brady Bunch when they all well, looked at each other. I'm not sure if everybody's in the They're same position. I know. I'm trying to look at Barbara. I don't know if everybody Zoom juggles them into the same place. And then I'm looking yeah, at Barry. And, and then I can look kitty corner at Cindy. I'm at the bottom. Yeah, I'm I see where you are. I'm trying to look at you from my box. So. Well, wait a second, though. But the box that counts for the I'm TV at audience. I'm looking there. Is, yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, look at Cindy's looking up. Oh yeah, that's it's like the Hollywood Square. Yeah, it looks like the Brady Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hi Cindy, we were saying hello to you, but it got lost in the the oh, chair that went up when you joined us. The entering the lounge yeah. is the best. That is so cool. Best I love how I, I can no. have. Right, Audrey Clark. Me. I'm trying to look at Cindy. Audrey Clark is here, ladies and gentlemen, the founder and president of the Jackie Jocko Fan Club in 1954. And she's still the founder and president of, what's it called? Ella, ex officio. She's the ex officio president of the Jackie Jocko Fan Club. Because it's, it's a position you have for life. 
especially founders. There's only one founder. That's right. Even if there's founder syndrome, Barb knows what that is. I tried to throw out these different industry terms to the different areas we have represented. I think I'm going to have to go get a refill myself. This well, is the best Jetsons looking group we've ever Ryan's had. Ryan's got the Jetsons background. Or is the, this? What is the cartoon background. Was, the Bugs was Bunny. Daffy Duck. Oh, Daffy uh, Duck. Uh, <laughs> I think Barbara's got a backdrop, one of those fancy uh, backdrops going for hers. Well, he sings monsters in the White House. Oh, we get to look at Barbara's home. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Got Next week, we want everybody to put the cameras on their medicine cabinets. <laughs> Cindy's got some nice artwork behind her. This is beautiful. Yeah. We're just gonna keep getting more and more personal as this. I know we all start to we sleep around. This as this time. lockdown continues, <laughs> we're all gonna be roommates, uh, yeah, even we though we're like now we're near each other. <laughs> yeah. It has the same effect. <laughs> Being apart brings people closer together. They that's always right, say, right? right? That's right. They were right all this all those years. Strange experience. For going Janice. There'd be a piano on every corner of the city. It'd be like gas stations. snowing yesterday. <laughs> I know, it's snowing. I'm going to play with the other camera angles here just to show them off. Yeah, this is Mary's side view. <laughs> I like her right side. This is the far view, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they talk about one angle. That was something I love. And this is the hair cam right here. Not, not a bad part. In fact, the whole, the whole hair cut's pretty good for a do-it-yourself job. Now that I'm old. See that? Oh, it's totally worth it. If, if I didn't have to have strangers come through my house during this time, I would do It's like a second honeymoon, but with germs. Another when your lips 
about you touches your lips these days too. I'm afraid the masquerade is over. And so is love. just routine I'm afraid the quarantine is over and so is love I guess I'll have to play Pagliacci and get myself a clown's disguise. The world will laugh like Pagliacci with tears in my eyes. You look you look the same. She, you're all not the same. But my heart says no. No, no, no. You're not the same. that is not being sung over at the Weber household on their, on their second anniversary today. Happy anniversary, you guys.
that's by the road. Let's tell the world we're in that crazy mood. See where Cindy Chan is. She's so quiet. <laughs> she threw me off by being so quiet. She's so quiet. You wonder what she's up to. <laughs> Dancing no in the dark. Ooh, till the tune ends. Cindy, we're dancing in the dark. And it soon ends. We're waltzing in wonder.
Schwartz and Dietz. Dietz and Schwartz. Nineteen thirty-one. This gun's for hire. I'm Courtney Cox. Yeah, I'm right. Cindy Zeri. <laughs> I was looking at what Cindy has on the wall. She's got some. She's got great artwork. In the, she's got. It's, like, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a medical poster, oh, yeah, isn't, isn't it, sure Cindy? It what is Cindy's like she's got a real scientific mind. Maybe Barry could make some sense out of that. <laughs> I was going to ask. What that was. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a do-it-yourself surgery kit. <laughs> Oh, is this a new thing? She's oh, always into something new. What a cool thing to have. We went from brick oven pizza to fish. Yeah, that's right. The brick oven pizza. <laughs> I like them all. I'm an early adopter. The pizza would be a better set now than the brick oven Now they say like you can um, touch different parts of the feet and it's connected to like everything. Stuff you didn't even know you had, it's connected to. Not just not just the obvious stuff. I can rub your feet and make you want me. Okay. Well, you could not rub my feet and that'll happen on the my age. Maybe it can make it stop. It'd be even more useful. Oh wow, that's Cindy. I heard about that stuff. I heard about that. I, for, I don't know. You, you, I don't know what the right terminology is for it, but about reaching different nerves through the feet. You know, I, I, I heard people talking about it or something. So I kind of like tried it on myself, just like when I put my shoes on, like I started poking around in there and pressing and it was like, I, I can't, I don't know about there that. might be something to it. There might be something to it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just a total amateur and I was poking around and it's like, there's, it's very sensitive down there. And Brian, tell him, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that comes right from a, the doctor himself. Well, there you go. I have yeah. to try it. I just know it's available at the Eastern Hills Mall. <laughs> it's available there. Do they have a kiosk? It must, must feel great, though. It, yeah, it's got to feel great. A, a, if you did great? it just for just for like fun, just a foot massage well, for fun, a, pressing in there with in those yeah. soft tissues and digging in there would be just great. That pedicure is cool. They put your feet in. Your name kind of really cool. George. Yeah. George and Barry. George and Barry are both names interchangeable. I love how people in the VIP area. Yes. Get along so well, Mary. I know. Nice. They all have the chatter in the they get, they get their own highbrow conversations. I, I think, where, where did Barbara, we talked about peeing and Barbara had to go somewhere. I love seeing Barbara's living room. Oh, thank you, Mark. Mark and Jody Weber for that. Oh, they're so sweet. The kindness. The anniversary. Contributing. Oh, that's you can't beat show business people like Mark and Joey. Well, so, thank you. Thank you, Mark and Joey. That makes me feel so so good to be part of your, your big night. My second wedding. I remember our second wedding. You keep us going in the background, we'll really be part of their big night, right? Yeah. That's great. It's like to see every fun. Do you know you're in here? Of course. Yeah, the hair styling is sort of that if you pull on your different hair follicles, you can probably reach different parts of your body too. They say I'll move a mountain and I'll move a mountain. If she wants
marks them out of the way. Crazy, she calls me. What fun. <laughs> Greg's claim to chain is he walked into Wayne Bryant at Boulevard Mall. This is Greg Evans with the 62 inch TV watching us in <laughs> Southern California. The, oh, imagine uh, how big we the are. biggest screen watching Lounge Academy. <laughs> you can see everything. <laughs> How's my hair? Uh, look on that thing. He was bored and went to the pet store. I remember the pet store. Bought a dozen mice to release. So he wouldn't have to check inventory. My college really helped me. It does. See, now that's, that's learning critical thinking skills rather than just rote memory. So what did he do? He bought... He wanted to get out of doing inventory. Inventory of what? Well, of a business, I, I suppose. <laughs> he worked at Lane Bryant. Oh, he worked at Lane Bryant. So, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got to count oh, everything. I, I missed that detail. And okay. it never adds up. I don't know. What, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. believe in accounting. I think it's a yeah, very inexact science. Inventory for Citibank, yeah. and it never. Accounting ends. never comes out. I took it for like seven yeah, years in college. Really realized. Yeah, it's it never big, comes out. It doesn't really work. You yeah. know what it is? It's to scare yeah, people into long. thinking That's long. they're going to catch you if you steal something. So but it doesn't work. I so mean, you have, have to, you have to take billions. So he wanted to get Oh, out. anyway, I, I, I was sharing what I learned in school. <laughs> so he, he went to the pet store that was in the mall. And he bought mice. He worked with what he had. He okay. looked around him, <laughs> and he, he improvised and overcame. And he went in and bought mice. He improvised and overcame. And let them loose. And they apparently then they like sent everybody home because they had to play. What is that? He let them loose in the mall? Must have let him loose in Elaine Bryant. Oh, and Elaine Bryant. Well, if he would have bought rats, they would have been smart enough. If you let them loose, they could have just done the inventory. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, yes, rats were be, smart. They could have done the inventory. Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, that movie Ratatouille must have been a dream come true for you. And the Rebel of Heat. You know, I didn't watch it until just a couple of years ago. I've never seen it. I'd like to. My mom wanted to see it. I remember we were going to go see it, but then we didn't. Yeah, it's very good. You should see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rat would have done the accounting for you. <laughs> I used to have to do the accounting for the Citibank Mortgage Department. I could never get it to add up, ever. 
It just couldn't. I was fudging things to just try to get it 40,000 here or 50,000, just to try to get it so that the numbers would balance and it was really hard. I could never do it. Of course, I'm well, not thank you, Jeffrey. I shouldn't have had that job. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey M., thank you. That's, that's a great compliment to the efforts here at Lounge Academy. It is. It's a great uh, refuge from, Lounge Academy is our from that nuttiness. Second anniversary. That's you, can tell, you can tell that well, at least one phase of the honeymoon is over because he said we were dancing to your romantic oh. tune. Isn't that nice? That is so sweet. I love hearing. And it. then oh. and then Mark broke wind, and they both laughed. Two years married. That's that's beautiful, Mark. I remember our two-year anniversary. That was that was a long time ago. It was. No, we've been married about fourteen years. We've been married. 16 years. 16 years. When do you get to 16 years and see what? That's when you start removing band-aids just to get a new, get enough something or the other. Never mind. You have to find out. It's a testament to taking a chance. Jeffrey Maxke joined us tonight. He says, he says he just he didn't know what this was about. He didn't really yeah, lots of uncertainty. Figured it's probably not for him, but he checked in. He said he's very happy he did. He loves it. That is so nice. We love hearing That makes you a lounge cadet, Jeffrey. <laughs> Big bras and big panties. That's what they sell at Wayne Bryant. Big giant. Oh, is that was it was uh big sizes? Is that what the branding was for? Well, it's a nice store. Everyone buys stuff at Wayne Bryant. Was it like a branch of Tent City? No, no, it's a nice elegant clothes store. It's you can get things like. romantic yeah. song among classic romantic songs here's one about cars for Ryan <laughs> 
Buick Skylock. Oh, yes. Buick Skylock. Pilot's gonna find it. <laughs> so what? Mulo as well. <laughs> How about Moonlight becomes? And he made a million bucks just like that. From the road to Morocco, Moonlight becomes you. Moonlight becomes you. There will be another you. <laughs> Good one, Jody.
I've never you? done it. Because I, I yeah, listen. I just, it just took over me. <laughs> Ryan's back. <laughs> so that was really great. I enjoyed that. That was one of those Bob Hope movies where they do it. Oh, that was a great car. My dad rented one when his car was broken he once, one and he let me take it for a ride. I, I was like 17. And it had a 350 in it, and it was brand what new. What kind of car is that? A Buick Skylark. Oh, is that, that, is, is, a that around, is that around well, the 72? Yeah. It was a, I think it was a 72. Oh, now I've went into the 90s. It was awesome. Because I had an old, I had his old hand-me-down 62 Buick with Sabre at the time, because that was my first car. So when he brought home that brand new one, I couldn't believe it. Oh, this is a 71. 71. You I like. it. I like 71 year cars even better. Yeah, that's your year. Find me some more hits, Mary. You're really good. No, oh, I know. I, I called a good one. That's a good song for you. You yeah, should keep it, that in your repertoire. Yeah, remember that one. Moonlight Becomes You from Road to Morocco. Oh, yeah, Moonlight. Moonlight Becomes You. We should watch Road to Morocco. And you, you become Moonlight too. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system, Jeffrey. Once in a while I have to do that. How about dancing on the ceiling? Dancing on the ceiling. We did dancing on in the dark. Now we'll do yeah, dancing on the dancing ceiling. Yeah, dancing on the ceiling. I like dancing on Wasn't the ceiling. Wasn't that by Lionel Richie? Now this does not mean you should do this, <laughs> Cindy dancing Chan. Dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> I will see her dancing on the ceiling. It's the title of the song. It's not saying that you should actually dance on the ceiling. I love my ceiling more now that it's a dancing floor. Cindy Chan knows, she's played a lot of records and she knows a lot of them. Old school deal. The purpose <laughs> of a, the deal. purpose of an introduction is so the musicians can learn the music. Still there. 
Simple Simon. Oh, is that what it's from? I didn't yeah. know that. I never heard of that. I was going to suggest Alice in Wonderland. Brian Van Horn, he's in the lounge. Oh, yeah. Brian Van Horn. He's in Canada. We do pretty good in Canada. We got good international audience in Canada. His whole life, because he'll always be a lot younger than me, because when we were children, he was a lot younger than me, a whole several years, I think, three years, is it? He'll never catch up. He's a cousin of my adopted family, the Van Stones. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's that cousin. And he's got a really hot sister. <laughs> This is why we had to buy our own spiral binder today. Yeah. So we, we can start, start making our own fake books. Yeah. Because they're all in ruins. And Betty's here too. This is great. It's blind Betty. Oh, Betty, vocalist. Singer. Singer of the stars. scare the crap out of me. Just went to the window during that song because the clouds. Uh, it looks like. Sorry to hear that, Brian. Oh, 
Okay. Sounds like, um, was she, uh, your mom, the last of the clan of that generation? still got probably things things you got to prepare and stuff. I mean, there's no courts, right? Well, can we, um, no, uh, only emergencies and no, I, I check in with clients, that's about it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Strange episode in our lives. It really is. Yeah. It really is. I, I wish, um, you know, I, I guess the unknown is the, the weirdest part. I mean, I wish that, um, you know, instead of going, you know, a couple of weeks by a couple of weeks or whatever, I wish we knew, you know, everything shut down until, you know. Yeah, whatever. just tell us. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. It, People don't know. That's, that's the hard part. Like, I agree. Now that failure, you mentioned it. You know, not to be able to plan for basically nothing. But yeah, now that you've put it like that, that is the It's hard to, attention. I find it hard to plan my hobbies with this uncertainty. <laughs> <laughs> I would be enjoying this much more if I could really just actually do nothing. <laughs> yeah, Ryan so he, do he zooms to work. <laughs> yeah, Ryan has to work from home. Actually do nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's a strange unknown that we're in. Yes. I can't predict it either. Where are we, you know, two months from now, what's it going to be like now? Except for they've canceled everything during the summer. I mean, all our festivals, it's going to be a weird summer. I know. I know. It's, it's terrible. I mean, it's unfortunate. I mean, I, look, we're all here and healthy, so. That's, that's, that's definitely true. Yeah, I know. That's something to be thankful for. You do think, that's gee, I'm healthy. And, yeah. Yeah, because this, that's the whole thing. If you feel great, who cares if you got to just sit around and not pay bills and eat takeout? <laughs> you gotta do the who cares song. Who cares? Who cares? Thanks, <laughs> Bale and Yonker. Yeah. As long as you've got the kiss that counts. <laughs> yeah, no, we gotta do who cares. We gotta do who cares. We gotta request. Yeah, we gotta request. Oh, that counts. From drinking or from electricity? <laughs> yes, I remember seeing that on Looney Tunes. <laughs> Looney Tunes. <laughs> I gotta turn the fireplace <laughs> down. It's getting warm in here. It's summertime. You know, it's going to be replaced by duck on your desk for the atomic bomb. Oh my goodness. Right, I remember those. Yeah, we were told. School. But they, I don't think they were for, I guess they were atomic bombs. But it was in the, the uh, early 70s. Yeah. So. 70s? Yeah. Wow. Under your desk? I didn't yeah. know that in the 70s. Yeah. I think that was going to save your life. No. Yeah. You still see all those fallout shelter signs. Someone yeah. I remember that. Around. There's one I can't see that there around. Yeah. Sometimes you had to go out in the hallway. Those bulletproof hall, those buildings were built great back then. You sit on that shiny 
floor, that shiny like, no, that stone floor. Those musicians who didn't perform very well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, yeah, that's a, something that's carried over. They got a bad review from Mary. Oh, that's right, that could be me. This song's called Who Cares? Who cares? Let it rain and thunder. Let a million firms go under. Concerned with stocks and bonds that I've been burned with. I love you and you love me, and that's how it will always be, and nothing else can ever mean a thing. Who cares what the public chatters? The other song, the other song that figures, Howard, Howard, the other one that, that figures in the conversation is the one from the Nutty Professor. That atom bombs Kate can ever oh, sure. fall so loud. This is another song for uncertain times. Brian, Van, Brian, I've been to Delta. I have been to Delta. I'm that tight with the Van Stones when I've been to, to Delta. I've been to the old house in Delta. The old house with the upright piano. What a cool place. It used to be a boarding house for tourists run by the Van not the Van Stones. This was the, the, the mother's side of the family. It was the Van Horn side, oh, the I Canada side. Is that like Thora Van Horn? Thora, I see it Van Horn. Thora's a Van Horn? Yeah. What are their chief? Well, they ask her. This was Dorothy's side of the family, and it was Dorothy's mother that ran the inn, right, Brian? And every year there was a big festival in Delta. Beautiful place, surrounded by little lakes. It's on a lake full of little islands. Islands that surprise you when you go on them. They're so perfect. When you get out of your rowboat, suddenly all these giant, long black snakes oh, come out. Told of, me about that in the Thousand Islands. Come out from underneath all the rocks and run you off the island that like you've never awful. run before. And this is the 
first year, there will not be a festival, a fair in Delta, in that little town on the way. What a creepy story. What are those kids doing? Because of this darn virus. I'd like to thank Lizzie for liking the stream. Oh, Lizzie's here. And Lynn for following the page. And Jeffrey M., the new guy, for following the page. All these things you do, these nice things you do for Lounge Academy. We got someone in the waiting room. Earn you valuable social credit scores on our own social credit scoring system. Oh, Dave Corbett is here. David's here, ladies and gentlemen. not only shopping in his closet, he's in his closet. Great to see you, sir. That should be a song, Shopping in Your Closet. Shopping in My Closet. Maybe I'll write a song. Oh, we just did this one. I actually remember that. Yeah, I was, I was thinking the Nutty Professor song. Oh, oh the Nutty Professor. Yeah, because it's along the same line. And I was just going to ask you about that. Is that going to be your new book going forward? The whole gang's here. It's an all show business crowd tonight, which is great. In the VIP lounge. Sophisticated social graces, the VIP Zoomers always have. These are the upper crust <laughs> of the lounge cadets. <laughs> the Delta Fair. Yes, I, I heard. I already knew that, Brian. Right? I keep up on this stuff, bro. I keep up on Delta. Oh, thank you, Brian. Tom McCann. Oh, Brian's got Tom McCann. McElroy. The cadets are pounding on the window. I wonder who that is. It sounded like a... It sounded like a uh, Bob Davis now. I was thinking it can't be Dave Corbett because. Why don't you go out and wave? Is there somebody wants to wave to you? The whole town is dark downtown, right? But here we are. We're having a giant party. There's people pounding on the windows. Oh, it's Steve. I knew his knock. I knew his knock. Yeah, somebody, an actual human, just knocked on the glass, just like tapping the side of a submarine. Like an actual submarine. I wish it wasn't a submarine sandwich. I swear it's not me. As I know it's not as there's there's pieces He's in of a paper. Hat. He's in a top hat. Wonderful accolades taped to our windows from lounge cadets. Bob's wearing a Is top that nice? Hat. It's probably a rubber chicken in it. Up and down it. Sleepy and yawning, still the taste of wine. This is a Jerry Lewis song. It's appropriate. Then I remember your mind. What's before me? What's 
the castle, I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember to love me forever, I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that's sweet. Take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space. No, no strings. strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings. Cause I've got a world that swings. I've got the world on a string. Sitting on a rainbow. Tied the string around my finger. The string reminds me you're mine. And I've got a world that swings. So I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you tell me forever, I've got a world that you've got a world that we we've got a world that swings. We've got a world that swings. Thank you. It was great. Thank I you. Got it with one hand. Okay. That's the best kind. That is that the coronavirus on the one hand of the Well, my phone is being choppy. Bob says he's got a surprise gift. Yeah. Maybe have him leave it on the leave it on the steps. I don't wanna get I don't wanna die. We'll quarantine it for a while. on the steps, but behind the booth. Really? He's got a delivery. Set, I don't know set, curbside delivery, set it down. This guy. Who is he? Clark Kent. Superman. That was who it was. Something from Oliver's. That Barb's eating. Everyone wants to know what's in your butt. Looks like oyster stew from Oliver's. Oh, look, she's got a little doggy, too. That's a nice dog. Looks like a movie dog, naturally. 
at Barbara's mask. Well. These are both. <laughs> and it, it's looking Barbara ferocious. I think with Barbara, I love that mask. We should go into a store wearing yeah, that yeah. mask. I thought you said I was supposed to wear a mask. <laughs> Here's my mask. <laughs> 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 go in there. I want a mask Do like it. that to go into Dash or something. I thought I was supposed to wear one. <laughs> Well, remember the guy in Wuhan, there was that citizen journalist filming in Wuhan when this first started, and one guy was going around in a dinosaur suit. Davis was dropping off all kinds of great stuff. Oh, I feel so. I don't like this situation. Looks nice of them. That is very nice, yeah. It's from Oshkosh. Oh, man. I'm awesome. We miss Oshkosh. All our friends over there. Yeah, we gotta. Maybe I'll get in touch with people in Oshkosh. This day and age we're living in. Gives cause for apprehension, speed and new invention, things like thought dimension.
that, Cindy? I can stop bullying me. He's saying, <laughs> stop bullying, Cindy. Cindy's back on the radio, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's been a long... but people should know when she's coming. Oh, you all got fired? <laughs> well, now she's here. First we were furloughed. Furloughed. And, and then he wanted me to go back all over everything, and it was unpleasant, so I left. And then he fired everybody. Gordon got fired. Really? It's a very small office, and he's got an immunodeficient son. Oh. So you're always completely afraid that you're going to get him sick, and then his son oh. is going to die. Oh. So no. it was it was it was awful, and so he's better off with you know yeah. the, few, the fewer people in the building. I love Buddy Shula. He's a. Wonderful. I do too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't okay. know him, but well, from what I've heard. Yeah. The thing is, though. You're you're back. Yeah. I mean, we, no, no, obviously. Well, yeah. Well, that's just world pandemic speak for like we'll see you next. You know, when this is over. <laughs> yeah. 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 Everything's gonna get back when it gets over. Okay. So here's here's caveat number two. He bought more radio station space. Oh. So he, he's got to come up with a couple. Of, I don't know, million dollars. And when you have a pandemic. Radio advertising drops off to zero. So he had absolutely no funding coming in and radio stations coming up that he bought. So it's just really kind of sad. It, you know, well, you know my, I mean, the thing is, everybody's in the same boat. So, I mean, there's a good, it's a good, a good chance he yeah. could, he so. could, uh, you know, work it out with the lenders, you know, because everybody, Everybody's, you know, everything stopped. Yeah, it's a, yeah, we've never seen it before. Yeah, but this is like money out of his, you know, it's like a one man media conglomerate. Kind of, you know, sounds you know, like WBIG TV. Well, it's there. Yeah. You and Buddy are in the same boat, except that not. Uh. So, anyway, so, no, this See, is. See, who's, who's, who's laughing now? <laughs> I could get wiped out and lose ten dollars. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the uh, to see what gifts were brought to the stops. Well, yeah, okay. She knows how to work us. That's all. Cindy doesn't like to eat. So you don't like the people to see you eating, right? Who, me? Was that was that you? Me? I know one of my friends that. Yeah. 
Like you won't just stuff your face here on Zoom. Or what, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. That wasn't your thing. Everyone's got a thing. You know, everyone's got things. Oh, I got a thing, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the queen of the thing. So anyway, what was at the door? Who was at your door? Yeah, yeah, this was at the door. Look at this. Put it in the quarantine bunker. There's like bags of merchandise. Takeout stuff. I'd like to thank our friends at uh, Ashkars. Yeah, they, he was. Yeah, he came by and he was Steve with them. Was Robert Smoothies? Yeah. Bring one over. I'll chant. I'll chant it. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just pump a little hand sanitizer in it and stir it up, and we'll be all set. Do you want a green one or an orange one? Well, the green one's in there. Which one? Green or orange? Whatever, whichever you want. Yeah. Okay. Good night, Cindy. There she goes. Off into the Zoom sunset. Now your ticket's good all night. In case you can't sleep, you want to come back in. We'll be here all night. Look at this. It's a smoothie from Ashkars. It's a smoothie from Ashkars. It's I bought one of the ones that was smoothie. really good. The one that I had. I forget what it was. No, that's very nice of them. I got to thank them here. You can put some booze in there. <laughs> yeah. the so what? So what? Is it all a bag of smoothies? There you said there was. A, said there was a gift that somebody made for you. Oh well, there are two other. Let's see. He said, um, "Just, just squeezed fresh around the circle from Angelo and Sarah at Ashcars." Is that nice? Wait, see, it's good to be the. To be in broadcasting, you know, you get people treating you nice. And handmade gift from Monique. Oh, for, for me and you. There's a handmade gift yeah, there from these, Monique. There are these two little things. We'll see what they are. Two little things. Two little things. Two little things. Two little things. It's not ticking, is it? Let's see what Monique. So WBIG studio is a fallout shelter. Oh, look at these. They're like, they're ducks. I'll just put these on the camera so that the audience can see them closer. Ducks? They're uh, handmade, ladies and gentlemen. They're, oh. I wonder what they're made of. Are they edible? I thought they looked edible. edible. I thought oh, wait, they were there's something. A, there's a label. Natural oh, creative beauty. Unscented white oh, duck soap. Oh, they're so soap. soap. They're well, too pretty to wash your hands with. Well, that even we, in the we need soap in comedy. this day and age. Oh, they're they say that any soap will work for the purposes needed. It doesn't have to be any special kind of soap. Wow, that's great. Yeah, we so I just saw today that happy. isn't this pretty though? They are really cute little soaps. They're very fussy. I mean, detailed little duck soaps. So I saw today that. Um, doctors were were great. investigating a new cure for coronavirus, which was mouthwash. You just gargle with mouthwash. Oh, this is <laughs> this is well, awesome. I do that every day. This is like medicinal. Oh, it's really good. Their smoothies are so good. At yeah, it. sniff it through your nose, though. Ooh, eat a little bread. I also like to huff. Yeah, you lift up your eyes with it too. Wouldn't that be funny, though? They said, it actually was, it was in a it British paper, work. and it, it was serious, and they said that they were investigating whether just gargling with this mouthwash would kill the germs, and I thought, watch that solve the problem. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? All of a sudden, you just well, gargle. you should take vitamin D. Well, I've heard that vitamin D had something to do with it, that if you get out in the sun, you know, that that helps. It would explain you know, why Florida didn't get it. I'm just taking vitamin D. Yeah, vitamin D. Before all this started, man, I stopped taking it because I went on my vegan Lent diet and my vitamin D 
were uh, chewable gummies that had pig gelatin, so I stopped <laughs> taking my vitamin D. Ryan, that is so, yeah, you were so. That Sounds was, like you're overthinking it. Yeah, I know, but that was very, um, there's an adjective that I'm trying to apply, but I can't think of it. <laughs> I don't want to say that was very Nazi of you, <laughs> what am I trying to say? <laughs> but man, no, it, it was um, very fastidious of you. I was taking my vegan life very seriously. Oh, wow. But I did hear that vitamin D had something to do with it. There's a holistic doctor online that was saying that vitamin, it might come down to vitamin D. Yeah, and there's a whole list of vitamin E things, too. So. I know what I heard, vitamin D. Really, what do you know? Is there something else? Vitamin E. We should take our vitamins and we should use mouthwash. That's right. Which would be a good thing. There is that. Way. That's right. Yeah, I know there was somebody who commented on the YouTube video and said, well, at least the bad breath cases are going to go down. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs gargling with mouthwash. But then they said not all mouthwashes would do it. Oh, well, here's something. I was getting um, the custom compounded compounded hand sanitizer from Black Rock Pharmacy, and initially they were using isopropyl alcohol, but somewhere along the line, I went back to get more, and they switched to ethyl alcohol. So oh. it's very different, and Is whenever I different? put some in my hand, it kind of smells like a margarita now. Oh, that's kind of, that's an improvement, I would say. But it also smells like a Flintstones vitamin. It's like a combination. <laughs> I know that smell. <laughs> Flintstones vitamin. Some stuff fell in there. <laughs> some chloroquin probably fell in. Chloroquin. <laughs> well, ethyl alcohol, that's what they use for the alcohol we drink, isn't it? I don't know. What is the alcohol we drink? I'm not sure what that is. Ethanol. Ethanol? Uh, ethanol. Oh, so yeah. that is ethanol. So now you can, you can make hand sanitizer out of vodka maybe or something. Yeah, I heard that uh, um, if you're going to make your own hand sanitizer, since nobody can get isopropyl alcohol, mm -hmm. if you mix equal parts of Everclear and vodka, oh, Everclear a percentage of alcohol. Oh. And you can add some... Everclear, I've seen that stuff in the store. <laughs> This is getting like the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> yeah. It is bathtub gin. <laughs> it is funny. It is the same kind of. The Dave same Corbin's field. back on Facebook. Oh wait! Oh wait! I'm not here. You've got to learn the Cap Calloway intermission song. We need a 15 minute intermission. It's a great song. I think we should play Spanish Flea during the intermission. <laughs> Spanish Flea. <laughs> this will take less than 60 seconds. Mission, boss, take a 15 minute intermission, boss, with your permission. Intermission. <laughs> intermission is the only cure. <laughs> Speaking of intermission, yeah. we're going to have our drive-ins back. I heard that. I just saw that. Didn't Cuomo take his boot off the neck of the drive-ins? That they're they're open now, as long as they practice social distancing. We should all go to the drive-in. I bet everyone's going now. We're surrounded by parking lots here. We should open our own. Yeah, we should open a drive-in. That's we a good idea. We could um, aim the projector at the Brutalism building over in Niagara Square. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Movies showing on the Brutalism building. <laughs> So everyone could show up in, in cars and a giant driving along Delaware Avenue where you watch. I have to decide if I want another Manhattan. I mean, I only have to go upstairs, but a yeah. bartender once told me, oh, I better not say this, it's too off color for... What did he tell you? <laughs> no. He did me a pass on that. He once said, Manhattans are like breasts. One is not enough and three are too many. <laughs> I should laugh. Three are too many. What bartender told you that, right? Believe it or not, it was the bartender at Whole Foods. Wow. How do they spell that over there? At Whole Foods? <laughs> Three are too many. Well, now we know what Barbara laughs at. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> First, we all laugh at Ryan so off color. I, I like the lounge there. You know, you can play a game of pool. You could, uh, well, they used to have half play strings. I was at it once. I remember my sister and I went there for, I forget what, we had a bunch of Well, Delavan is a very, very creepy little It's a little town. town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little town. It's out in the country. I don't remember it being creepy, but I remember it's a little town. Well, I thought it was creepy. Well, I don't know if I saw it in the daylight. No offense to anyone from Delavan. <laughs> I once lived on West Delavan. <laughs> That's different, I've been though. doing a lot of exploring in the country lately. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. I've been getting out. You went to Olean. Yeah, <laughs> Westfield. Westfield. Yeah. Westfield. I've been, I've been to all, well, everybody, all of us. I yeah, there's nothing there. Westfield. I was hearing that Chautauqua, there's no, of course, there's no season this year. Nowhere. The first time in something like 100 years that there's been no season in Chautauqua. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I no, the Sheridan, there was a drive there, too. Yeah. Oh, I went to the town of Leon, Amish Country, Leon. I went to Jamestown, Bankersville. Yes, Bankersville. Man, it must be weird now because there's nothing open in any of those places either. Or do they flaunt the rules? <laughs> there's no way to know. East, west, north, and the south. 
and the south of you. <laughs> That's kind of naughty. <laughs> well, then, that never occurred to me. Well, then, yeah, it's so I guess it's so where scary. your mind goes, Rick The very heart and soul of you. You are the promise kiss of springtime makes the lonely winters seem long. Oscar Hammerstein, that's Hammerstein, a, that's a great song. and Jerome Kern. I love Jerome Kern. Well, I see that Dan has recommended a place in Westfield, what? Dan's place in Barcelona. Dave Granville, sing along. Well, I heard good things about a place called... Never Hammer stop Stop's singing along, Westfield. Mr. Uh, Grand. I thought about stopping, but there was a big... The world stops there. turning if we stop Is singing along. Yes. Here's one we've never done. Matt Dennis. Excuse me while I drink. 
Thanks, Dave Granville, for that great request from the great Matt Dennis, one of my favorite guys. ticket to the VIP lounge and then rush over and raid your closet. <laughs> Pull up a big fat cocktail and just look great. Good tastes. <laughs> music. Nice to have this Obsolete music. Start singing about autumn. I think I'm going to mow the uh, Steep Seashine Park this weekend. Speaking first of mow. That's a sign of spring. First mow, yeah. Yeah, my neighbors mowed my lawn because I guess they got tired of me. Our neighbors yeah. mowed our lawn in North Buffalo. I've tried doing that here, but. Uh, doesn't work. It works on the sidewalk. People clear the sidewalk for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually, I know the back and the side, and then my uh, fancy battery-powered lawnmower that battery I bought power. last year oh, yeah. ran out of batteries, so I just charged it back up and never went back out again. Oh, that sounds like a great lawnmower. I can't wait till I can <laughs> rationalize buying one. I've got a great lawnmower. <laughs> Right. In the spring, I take it out and it wouldn't work. Yeah, that's how they are. You got to leave them yeah. running all winter. But the <laughs> old ones, the old ones from the 80s, they would just start right up with no maintenance year after year. Yeah, come to think of it. I got a wonderful one, thanks to the courtesy of Lounge Cadet Dave Corbett. He gave me his old lawnmower. <laughs> He brought it over for me to repair. I was fixing his car, and he said this lawnmower is broken too, and it needed it needed welding. So I um, so I fixed it for him, and it was great because I was really lusting over this lawnmower, you know, because my lawnmower I was really inadequate in the lawn. Mine, mine had a long extension cord on it, and I couldn't do around my fence, 
It didn't go that far. So I was secretly lusting over, over this cool lawnmower. And then uh, like a week later, he says, I bought a new one. You want, you want that one? I said, yeah. Great, so I got an awesome lawnmower. I'm wondering how it's going to start. I might have to flush the gas or something, right, Ryan? Well, if it's old, it'll start right up, and if it's new, you'll have to flush everything out. Well, it's new by my standards. It's probably like a... It was probably made this uh, millennium. Oh, well, that's no good. Yeah. with your electric one. You ever have a, Barb, you ever have a friendship and then you, 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 you blew it, like by, all of a sudden it turned into a date? It's like having a hobby and turning it into a business. You lose a hobby. No matter how it turns out, you lose a hobby. Whether the business is a success or not. Are you leading up to this at the end of a beautiful project? I am. I'm leading up to a song. This, this is the end of a beautiful friendship. and we looked at each other. That was the end. Oh, the beautiful friendship. And it was just, just the beginning of love. Oh, yeah. It was just the beginning of love. That's how it works. That story never plays out in real life. You need the few drinks. It never plays out without an element of fraud involved. What? <laughs> what to everybody? What did you say? What did you say? I asked if you were drinking what's in that green I was. I knew that would not escape your notice. I was drinking a green smoothie. But I'm going to go back to wine. There's something in there. It tastes like it's boozy or something. It is good. It's not boozy. But it has kind of a, like... Belt to it. Did you try the green one? Try the green one. You tried the orange one. It's good. It, it tastes like it's very fresh, like real stuff. 
from the lawn. It has freshly mowed grass in it. <laughs> it could. That's what it is. That was the... I knew the rhyme. It's <laughs> good. The green. <laughs> it's really nice when people drop off things like this for us. You know why? <laughs> because the best things in life are free. <laughs> the moon belongs to everyone. The best things in life are free. The stars long to everyone. They gleam there for you and me. The flowers spring, Robin sing. The sunbeams shine. They're yours, they're mine. Love can come to everyone. Oh yeah, cause the best things in life are Isn't that the truth? We'd like to thank Jim and Barb. Thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thanks for inviting us into your home tonight. As long as it's a Friday night. Now we know where everything is when you're not home. We'll be in touch. I'll see you on Facebook. Okay, sounds good. Okay. How about another big round of applause? I love Barbara Fisher. For Barbara. Barbara O'Neill. Barbara O'Neill, ladies and gentlemen. Barbara O'Neill, there she goes. She knows how to make an entrance and an exit. Here we are, the hardcore, the hardcore of the lounge cadets. After all of that excitement, all of those special guest stars tonight. You never know who's going to come to zoompianobar.com and jump on and, and it's not too it'd be a big shot up there with all the, all the VIPers they can throw on their, the their tuxedo. Everybody wants to... Yeah, throw, yeah, keep throwing that link up there. We have still uh, some big names out in the out in the lounge cadet. Cadet verse. I don't like, you know, they're not uh, lounge cadets. We are not spectators, you know? That's right. Because when you're in a lounge, even if you're quietly having a martini or a beer in the corner and collecting your thoughts on a Friday after a long week of sitting on your ass, not paying bills and eating takeout, just, <laughs> just kind of recharging the batteries. You're, you know. you're lounging, so it's a verb. You're, you're an active participant just by being here. So there's no escaping the lounge cadets moniker. Yeah, I think it's a real hardship for us to have to eat takeout. You know, a lot of things do not taste as good as takeout. I've been a big proponent of eating things live, you know, pizza. Chinese food, chicken wings, they all taste better when they're, they're freshly brought out to you on a plate. I'll tell you, the best pizza I ever have is when Mike, we're on, we're on a first name basis now, when Mike over at uh, Ricotta Pizza runs out into the middle of traffic yeah, in the center, right. we gotta get another one in the center island of Niagara Street, facing oncoming traffic. Drops a pizza in my trunk and grabs the 20 that I leave there. Slams the trunk, gives me the, the thumbs up. Takes me two seconds to get back here and pop that baby open and 
And I've got pizza face going on. <laughs> Big time. You had pizza tonight. Oh, uh, nice. Did you make the pizza, Ryan? No. Where did it come from? It came from Mustachios. Oh, all right. Oh, great. How was it? Very good. And they also have a decent fish fry. I took one to my grandmother. Oh, that's nice. Mustachios pizza. Oh, that sounds good too. They had barbecue. Right, Barry? Everyone yeah. did take out. We're all, we're all eating Listen great. To everyone eating takeout. I don't know what the restaurants are all complaining about. I mean, somebody's somebody's selling all this takeout. I, I mean, think people are eating out from these restaurants more than they ever did. Well, they are because I mean, how often do you you know? Not everybody goes to restaurants know. three times a day, but everybody's eating. Every household not, is eating anybody, takeout. But I never go out to eat anyways. I used to go out to eat all the time, and now I don't. And now you're cooking. You know, I enjoy seeing people's meals on Facebook. They cook and they post them. I always look at them. I enjoy it. I like seeing what people are cooking. Grand Slam. Grand Slam. Whatever that is, I want it. Oh, that's it. from, from um, Denny's. Oh, I remember that. Like, oh, yeah. That, that's that great breakfast where they give you like a hundred, all these sausages. Yeah, someone's things. mom who was working at 2 in the morning would Grand come over Slam. and set all these eggs on your plate. You can get a free one on your birthday. A grand slam? Yeah, three grand slams. My heart is sad, sad and lonely. For you I sigh, for you dear only. Why haven't you seen us? I'm all for you. I know Mr. Grand's voice. Oh, it's David Grand. <laughs> Mr. Grand, my heart is sad and lonely. <laughs> Help me out, David Grand. For you I sigh. For you, dear, only. Ghostly figure. Ghostly figure. 
That's the experience that it Shout out, out to Mike it. Duffy, part of the WBAG TV organization. Helps put a roof over our head. Nice to see you, sir. All's well. I always think about you, you know, I've been meaning to contact you. Not for the reasons you want, but I'm just just to just to hear about the creative things you're doing. Because Mike Duffy is the kind of guy that thrives in chaos, just like us, Mary. He does thrive in chaos. He does. Mike Duffy he knows how to handle any situation. You want Mike Duffy around when you're done. We love Mike Duffy. Mike Duffy. He's a toughie. He's no fluffy, that's for sure. That Mike Duffy. Duffy. He's a to thank Bob Davis for bringing by that love from our our favorite business partners and Oshkars took a swig of that stuff and we're flying and the soap is amazing it's soap it's, and at the end it's a rabbit Pretty Here's one for featuring Dave Grand. Dave, pack up all your cares and woe. Here I go, singing low. Yeah, the, see the hipster, 
<laughs> the hipsters, the hipsters <laughs> don't applaud like, like we do. The hipsters are a level above. They, they do this. Who was doing that? <laughs> it sounded like castanets. It sounded really weird <laughs> from where I was. Dave Fish got a swim. Those birds got to fly. Ooh, I got to love. Yeah, one man till I die. Can't tell. Barry's heading off hey, to the lake. Thank you, Barry. He had a, a good customer experience getting in. Yeah. We <laughs> appreciate you, you doing that for us. So that the general public will have a better go of it. You better uh, clean that room up when we're done here. I think I see something on the counter over there. There's like one thing in the whole room. There's like one one thing out of place in the entire room. Have you ever seen a room that organized as Everyone's house as looks neat? a lot cleaner than course, mine. Yeah, compared to our places. That. Yeah, look how clean my house is. I know, it looks beautiful. My house Even does not look like... Even with those pools. They just went oh, this way. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, and I was looking at um, Barbara O'Neill's house and Cindy Chan's house, and they both look very clean and nice. Our place is right out of Better Homes and Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> We like it that way. Good night, Barry. Good That's why our immune system is so good. Barry, you made this fun. Thank good you, night. Barry. Thank Barry, you. ladies and gentlemen, our very own Barry. We love Barry. He's so glad he was here. And he goes into the ether. Now he's gone. It's so alarming the way people go into the ether in this. Because normally when we see them here, you know, you go out the door and you can see them to the door and you see them in that car. But here they just go on. I just sneak out the door. Yeah, I know. You do too. Yeah, no, Ryan does not sneak yeah. out. I sneak out sometimes. Yeah, Mary does. Right down there. I sometimes sneak out. Well, not anymore. Granville, yeah, you know no, this not one. Not anymore, because you're home. I've never done it. I'm familiar with it. I've never sang it. Help me with it, Mr. Grand. Candy. I call my sugar candy. Cause she's a stripper, Candy. And Candy's sweet on me. She understands me. Why understanding Candy? Just dandy. Candy. The day that 
take my candy and make her mine, mine or oh mine. What a beautiful classic. That is a cute song. <laughs> that always makes me think of a golden retriever. <laughs> golden retriever. Those are those are the best dogs. My aunt's yellow dogs. And a golden retriever named Candy. It's a good name and for one time I was really sick and I was hallucinating and I kept calling out Candy. <laughs> and it was well, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dave Granville. Oh, that's Dave Granville. I couldn't recognize him. I don't see him. Founder of Lounge Academy. Oh, I can't see him now. It's all dark. You can see his clothes in his mouth. I do. I see I'm going to love you. The Phantom. I guess when you met me, just one of those things, but don't ever bet me on a con I'm going to be true if you I'm gonna love you when nobody loves you. Come rain or come shine. Happy together, happy together. Won't it be fine? Days may be cloudy or sunny. Playing Harold's. Yeah, Howard plays Harold. It's a big voice. Who knows what this song is? And those big blue eyes, that turned up nose.
Yeah, that's right. It's a, it's not. You don't need like. It's not like a riddle, like a lot of these songs. Yeah, the whole thing it just adds up to your puke. Yeah. What more is that? Your puke. Like what's the one? Bring out the clowns. Send out the clowns. <laughs> send out the clowns. Send out. Bring out the clowns. Bring out the clowns. <laughs> Here's one for Barbara Fisher. fortunate that way. We have. We are blessed Jackie that way. Z, the great Jackie Z has been here. And I've known a number of clowns. She is one of the great clowns. Me too. Clowns. Jennifer May, who I used to play in a jazz band with. She's she, a clown? She's a professional clown, yeah. I know a psychic clown. Who's that? Uh, my, you know my aunt who you, who's, uh, has your sketch of the houses across the street from Cayman? Yes, she yes. She sold her house to a psychic clown. She did. Yes. A psychic clown. What is a psychic clown? That's a great combination. Well, she's a psychic and a clown and a gypsy. Oh, and a gypsy. That's amazing. It's a great combination. She had her own place in Lovejoy. She's had her own place. In yeah. yeah, it was a cafe. Oh. Zach went there before we met. What was it called? Um, but she had Madame a cafe. Mocha's. What was it? Madame Mocha's. Oh, wow, and Zach went to it. <laughs> yeah. We had that connection. We didn't even know oh, each other. Exactly. He had gone to Madame Mocha's. Madame Mocha's. Prior to that, I had learned about 
this woman because she was a professional clown and a psychic. Wow. Was it mocha like coffee mocha? Yes. Oh, okay. Madam Mocha's. That's a good name for a coffee shop. Imagine a clown telling your future. A clown telling your future. Well, she didn't do them simultaneously. Why not? <laughs> Why not? That'd be great. It was kind of like the more you learn, the more interesting you get. <laughs> Madam Mocha's. So that's not in existence anymore, right? No, not anymore. And so your aunt, that was your aunt's house and she sold it to that person? Yes. She when she moved to, when she moved out west or wherever she moved. Yes, Did, she sold she her house. She lives in California like now, right? Stash clown. Yeah. And now she's in New Mexico. Oh, New Mexico. I knew it was out your, there. Your picture. I know. I knew she was out west somewhere. I'm so glad you made that happen, Ryan. Though. That makes me feel so good. I love that picture. Score. I'm not through with that picture yet either. I'm going to do stuff with that system. picture. It's appreciated. I never heard of this. I don't know, but I, I never heard of the lyricists um, yeah, myself. Ed, Eddie Domang. Oh, I never come up with that. I never would have. But the music was Jim. Jimmy Van. <laughs> Jimmy Van. Oh, Foster Brooks. <laughs> Jimmy Van Heusen. <laughs> Jimmy Van Heusen. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's a beautiful tune. The music. Oh, is beautiful by tune. Jimmy Van Heusen. He wrote the music. Da, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. That's a great tune. Yeah. It's one of the great tunes, as Paul Kokoda would say. It's so chromatic, it goes up. I'm too bad Paul can't zoom. Yeah, I the know. Guy, the guy owns a computer company, and he can't zoom. Yeah, he, he doesn't put himself out to He's do not a techie. Like, like, he's a Luddite, as they say. Company? Yeah, Empire Business Systems, or yeah. a computer company. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's Forever, for like... Can't his daughter... Decades. I should ask his daughter on Facebook to get him on to it, because we're friends yeah. with his daughter. Yeah, give her another push. Yeah, I will ask her. Burritos and buys and dip, what's the point? 
Yeah, what if they have some verbal we'll to send them some? Fly me to the moon, play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. That's right, Dan, a professional clown and psychic. Really? Wow. Yeah, we're going to do a little display. It'll be Reminds fun. me of a neighbor I had in a plaza I was in. Yeah, when I, when I, I had was a so nice. Store. It was the first one I did. I got a nice print made. This place was a... Uh, <laughs> the city hall, yeah. It was, a, like a, it was a karate school. I like you, that you work with cramps. And Venetian blinds. <laughs> and Venetian blinds. <laughs> yeah, over on Iron Horse Boulevard, my, one of the yeah. neighboring, when I had my business yeah. over there. It, it was a... Uh, I think I did a buzz item on that once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like karate school. Yeah, you can go there when you walk in. They're not sure if you're there for the for the blinds or to learn how to, you know, kick somebody's butt. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's like the professional clown slash psychic. That's why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> that's the theme. That's the common thread, as we say in show business. Some Sinatra, ready to do some Sinatra. <laughs> Is that like, oh, oh wait, wait, we need a vaccine. <laughs> oh, Anthony Fauci. <laughs> he didn't get He's it. got a great voice, that guy. Yeah, he really you know you're so close with him, Mary. <laughs> Tony Fauci. <laughs> yeah, we're on. <laughs> I'm more into scarf lady. <laughs> scarf lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a classy lady, you know. Actually, she's very Like she went to a finishing she's school. She's got a great look about her. You know, she carries herself so well. She might be killing. Who knows what they're doing, but they look great. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Very, very jackal-like. Who knows what they're doing? As long as you got style. You gotta have style. <laughs> Tony Burks. Debbie Burks. De Debbie Burks. Meanwhile, we're all gone with the wind. Here's one for... I think Dave's sleeping. We'll try not to wake him up. Mr. <laughs> Grant, one of the co-founders of Lounge Academy. That's right, he is. You only got to see his prison. Taught me show business. Gone with the wind. Thank you. 
tips. Sleep talking in his sleep. <laughs> Maybe we'll hear some big show business inside scoops. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to this. I hear the secrets that you keep. <laughs> I was just thinking of that. When song. you're talking in your sleep. I hear the secrets that you keep. When you're talking in your sleep. We'll have to play that song at the McMillan Monument. <laughs> Tomorrow, the Macmillan Monument. Ryan and I are meeting tomorrow at the Macmillan Monument. I'll be tired of you. When stars grow tired. Thank you, Clapper. Academy class of 2014 <laughs> hit. Where is that one, Mary? How little we know. Did disappear for a moment. Did I used to know that one? How much to discuss? Oh, I know that one. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Discover what chemical forces flow. 
Tired of this dull routine. That's a great tune. Nice to see you here in the flesh. Nice to see you. Looking well, well and good. I love that clock over your head, that institutional clock. That's a classic. Not too many people have one. Ryan, you, I bet you dig that, Ryan. Yeah, I love those old fashioned clocks. They're kind of endangered nowadays. Especially the old ones. Not everyone knows how to even read them anymore. The craziest dream 
last night Yes, I did I never dreamt it could be There you were In love with me I saw your lips next to mine So I kissed them You didn't mind it At all when I'm away, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming, Dave? If there's a chance that you can, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my. I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them, and you didn't mind it one bit. When I'm away, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you That seems so real. Dave Rand's having one right now. Yeah, that's a nice piano back there, Dad. Look at that. Look at that, Look at that piano he's got. He's got show business family. Has it got a player in it? It does. You know, when, when I bought this piano, um, they explained to me that it was a reproducing piano. So I figured, um, I figured it would pay for itself when it had its first litter. Speaking of having dreams, I had a, it was a troubling dream. I dreamt, um, I dreamt I took it somewhere and part, actually it was part of a long, big, complicated dream. I don't even, I don't even remember it. Um, I was trying to remember it afterward because it was so fascinating. You know how these dreams just change from like, just like crazy sh shifts and scenes, you know, and somehow they're tied together. But anyway, I took the car, the javelin scene, I took the car somewhere, I parked it very carefully, I went in, I come out, and somebody had pried, pried the hood open to where they like bent the hood like in half, 
went in there, took my dual snorkel air cleaner, which was only made for one, one model, one engine size for one year, which was the 71401. Did you, you notice that, did, you, did you notice that when Howard came out in his dream, he tinkled the piano? Oh, there it is. Here in the next page, I think. <laughs> he tinkled the piano? With his coughling. Yes, he tinkled. Howard, if, if you use your hands, you get it, that you came out. I came out? I was looking at his watch. No, I'm looking at my cufflinks that... No, face us. Face us. Like this? And then gesticulate with your left hand. Gesticulate. Well, did I do a as glist? You say, gesticulate. No, I came out of the car. I came out of the car. Did I do that? Right. Like that? Are we recording this? It is recording. Dave, I have a question. Every second of my life is recorded. Yes, go ahead, Ryan. Why do you keep sending me screenshots of myself? For your approval for later posting. Oh, okay. Well, I'm okay with all of them. You're such, you're so photogenic. And I'll turn my light on when I learn how to do backgrounds like you. Well, I could have no background. Then you could see how I actually live. Everyone's got a very tidy house that's on. Lounge. That's in the VIP. The VIPs all have tidy homes. songs for one of my favorite people. It's him. It's impossible. Tell the sun to leave the sky. It's just impossible. a baby not to cry it's just impossible can I hold you closer to me and not feel you going through me count the seconds that I never think of you, oh how impossible. to Barbara Fisher, one of our wonderful lounge cadets. We'd like to thank Carol Wu for liking our stream and burning so 
social credit scores on our own system here, our own social credit scoring system. But you all find out about how in the coming weeks and months, you'll be glad you know me. You wouldn't find out I'm in charge of it. Thank you, Ryan, likewise. I'd also like to thank Liz Lutnick for liking the stream. sentimental so I getting tired of reading the lyrics I'm sentimental so I what I can't you don't know either so send in the clowns Try to change me. Yeah, 
is a tribute to Richard. We have got season. Yeah, he must be a busy guy. I didn't see his name pop up. It's been a great night here at Lounge Academy. The place they call the No Gloom Zoo, the Gloom Free Zone. Look, Ryan's in two, two places at once. it's that sad part of the night where we have to say goodbye for another week but the happy part is we'll be back in exactly seven days minus three and a half hours well let's just remember next week we're going to be prepared to throw people out <laughs> for underdressing in that thing Crashing the party, as it were. And I see. Now it's coming out. We'll have to find, figure out a way of getting even, right? With well, these rascals. Big red button. That's too easy. That's too merciful. May I ask? Yes, sir. May I ask? how we can add a tip button to this, uh, as long as we're talking about exchanging. Oh, well, uh, the, uh, the, screen, the screen, uh, 
we got a thing on the screen there. It's uh, tiphoward.com. It's, it's a good mnemonic device, easy, easy to remember. Although Thank when you, you join asking. us by Zoom, we kind of consider your your Zoom entry as kind of a tip, depending on what it is. Ryan, don't you don't talk people out of tipping, Ryan? No, no. Who's the president of WBIG TV? He's talking people join us. out of put. No, we do. We appreciate the, the support. Anyway. We, we I have get it. loading it up on the front end, you know? Yeah, yeah. I have a good tip. I have a good tip. He's got a good tip. He's got a good tip. Ooh, yeah. his fingers on those keys. Thank you, Mr. Grand. Did Mary go to bed? Yeah, Mary, uh, Mary snuck out in, in, in proper fashion. She, she's sleeping in the car. Um, no, she's, she's, you're home, very, she's you're, home with the cat. She's at you're our very elusive. Hmm? No, she, she slipped out. Uh, she provided her own transportation. Is, she met me down here. Is is the drum set still there? They're they're in the building. Yeah, I don't have them set up, but they're the drums are here. Like my set and uh, uh, Bob Davis's set has been stored here too for like ten years. So we got to with the brushes and sticks. Uh, I imagine. Yeah, I must be here. I'd have to pull everything out one of these days. How many hours have you played tonight, Howard? How, how many hours have you played? Um, three hours. Five and, to eleven. Three hours and forty-five minutes. No, I didn't. I I got it easy because the Statler's not open. So we we start here at uh, we started at about at seven thirty. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. I'm it's great having you here. Did you see D Dan? Was that the Basilica? Dan? Yes, yes, it was. That's one of my virtual backgrounds. Wow. It's where uh, Father Baker is buried. Well, if people don't behave, they're going to have to go. It's quite a live place, with Father Baker. People who don't, if they don't. People who don't pay to get into the Zoom meeting have to go to Father Baker's. That would be sent to boys' school. Well, that would be me. Crash in the party. You know when they when they uh, exhumed his body from. The cemetery next door. The, there were vials of blood that were buried with him that were still liquid. Really? It was considered a miracle. Yes. You didn't know that, Howard? Yes. I did not know that. So that's one miracle right there. Well, here. You need three, right? That's right. And there's been several. There's been several. What about Catarita Caquita? She's a, she's a saint. Yes. Saint she's, Catherine Tecapuita. Uh, Father Baker, are you suggesting that she give Nelson Baker some of her miracles so that he can become a saint? Maybe if she wants. Can you do that? <laughs> are they transactional? See, she used to be called Catherine Tecapuita, yes. but now she's Gadolita Tecapuita. They call her Gadolita. <laughs> 
No, they didn't. They do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. You're just saying that with your, they're just saying that with your lips. I am an Aquasasti Mohawk. I know what's going on. Now, my whole life it was Katarita Kakwita, but now it's Gadalita Kakwita. It's the new thing. I see. They call it Gadalita. Well, you heard it here first, folks. So what's your Mohawk? What's your what's your Mohawk name, Ryan? I don't have a name. My father's name is Kahawanan because he went on a vision quest. And that's what he came back with. I'll go on a vision quest with you. I have a card that proves that I'm a, an Aquasasi Mohawk. Well, why don't we go on a vision quest? That's why we don't pay any taxes here at Lounge Academy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm registered. This is a reservation. No Dan, reservation is required. Click us on, on your vision quest. It'll, it'll be a movie. It'll be, I can see the screen play now. It's like that movie about Las Vegas. Well, I want it to be like what? Ratatouille because Ratatouille is my hero. Rami, you know, the rat, rats are, you know, some of the best animals on earth. In Asia, not here. In Asia, they're kept as pets for royalty. We, here. here, we love rats, you know? Many of us do. Who's we? Who? Rats are noble creatures. Who? They are very intelligent, you know? Ryan likes rats. He's not a pet person, but he likes rats, so it's, that's a good start. Interesting. Well, thanks, everybody, for uh, well, making, making this another successful week here at Lounge Academy. And uh, well, Thank you, Howard. Thank you, thank David, you, Mr. Grand. And thank you, Ryan, for manning the door, so to speak. And thank you, Dave, for taking all those screenshots of me. I hope you get good use out of them. Oh, indeed. Well, be careful driving home, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> me and Dan and Ryan are home. We are home. Unless you want me to come down there. See, I have to go home. Going. I have to actually go home. We have a special facility just for doing this show. Here in the heart of downtown Buffalo, in the core business government lounge district, as they call it. Truly a TV station. Government lounge. Yeah, it really is. Essential service. We're the only nightlife opened in New York State for your convenience. Because the governor doesn't know about you. Ryan, do you know how? Because because no one's here. We're virtual. Ryan sent me. Ryan sent me the link for the dollar forty, and it took me a little while to figure it out. I didn't. Ryan, you know how to do what? Yes, you did. No. You said, yeah, I didn't. You said join us on. Oh, I didn't send it to you personally. I sent it to everyone. The Zoom piano bar. No. No, he sent it to me. And then I figured out how to get on. Okay. And then once I was on, I figured how you can invite people without having them pay. Which is what Ryan should have done firstly. If and he then, really did want to be. If he really Well, we're, really we're kind of going on the honor money. system around here, you know? <laughs> and then he invited Dan. I see. So everyone here tonight was probably let in by Dave. Oh, like 12 people were here. Hey, Howard, do that thing with your cuff link again, where you're telling your dream and you say you come out of the car. I come, with your left hand. I come out of the car. <laughs> Did we ever hear the rest of the dream after that? Well, that was basically it. The car was um, damaged, and they, they took my air cleaner. And unless they could have just lifted the hood, but instead they ruined the hood. And um, I woke up, you know, thinking about it, and I thought, oh, great, you know, it's, it, it's fixed because I woke well, up. You heard during COVID, I, I, 
people have been having strange dreams. Well, you know, we're in a pandemic right now, and so there's no reason why people shouldn't be able to pay to get into this Zoom session because there's a lot of people who are sitting at home and they're getting extra money for being in this pandemic just for sitting at home. So, you know, that's, that's the way I look at it. Plus, we, we've got out of pocket for this Zoom. We had to sign up for the 150 a year pro plan. So it wouldn't hang up in the middle every 45 minutes. Remember, Dan, it used to hang up? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, so I got, I'm out 150 bucks. You guys slip in. What do you think of that? Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll hold the door open for someone else next time, too. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> Every time it rains, it rains. Remember that scene in Music Man? Where I gotta go home. gets away by just singing a song, and then the Buffalo Bills take over. Yes, absolutely. All right, start singing. How can there be any sincere? Where's the good in goodbye in goodbye? Well, I gotta, I gotta go home. <laughs> I gotta clean up. I gotta, you know. Harold, Howard, I mean, not Harold. Howard. Yeah. Dream when you're feeling blue. Dream. That's the thing to do. somewhere okay Fine. I gotta go I'm gonna have a use my finger to send us off into the ether Ryan you could end the meeting with your finger where, where well, I can leave it I can't end it you can't end it All I right. can throw everyone else though no let's right. see what happens it. Who, who, good night everybody you that Howard is the only one who can end it I'll show you I right can now throw them out okay I'm throwing them out now I threw them out. Nice. All right. Throw Mary out. I can't throw Mary out. She's co-host. Oh. Oh, you can't throw out a co-host? All right. So good okay. night. Okay. I'm going to end the stream. Good night, everybody. This has been Lounge Academy. Appreciate it. And come visit us next week, and we'll lounge some more. Have a great week. Stay well.